Welcome back. Uh, Egypt's uh, overpopulation problem is no secret to everyone now, and the country's population increases annually by 2.5% and is expected to reach 151 million people by the year 2050. And also that happens in many other countries worldwide. As we said earlier, we will be talking about the efforts to, of the state to improve the lives of our citizens and also address the, the problem of overpopulation. And with us live over the phone is Mr. Abdul Latif Fahba, our economic analyst. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Abdul Latif. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? Uh, first of all, President Al-Sisi has described overpopulation as one of the biggest threats uh, to uh, the uh, uh, Egypt, to the economy of Egypt, to the development of Egypt, developmental pro process, and also alongside, of course, other issues like terrorism. If you could like to elaborate over the problem of overpopulation and the means to be able to control it. Uh, yeah, of course, as you know that uh, 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 Egyptian uh, population has been increased rapidly uh, during the last decades. Uh, now we have uh, over uh, uh, one uh, million uh, populations. Uh, this is uh, uh, means that uh, uh, means that uh, you have to meet the. the, the uh, the, uh, the need uh, of uh, the increase in the population. At the same time, as you know, that uh, uh, since this Abu Fattah Sisi came to power, um, uh, trying to uh, to make a balance at a equilibrium uh, between the increase of the population and uh, at the same time. Uh, 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 the uh, economic growth during the this period. As you know, that Egypt's uh, uh, economic or uh, uh, domestic uh, uh, domestic growth uh, uh, grew to sometimes a few, uh, from a year to another year, but at the same time, as you know, that. Uh, the increasing of the uh, population uh, uh, grow also at the same time, but uh, maybe uh, more than the economic growth. So we have to make a balance between uh, between the increase of the uh, economic progress and also uh, the uh, with the with the population growth. Uh, during the last, the, the last barrier. Right. On, on one hand, uh, at, at the same time, some people or some experts uh, consider a population increase uh, is a, a, a great challenge uh, to, um, uh, to the Egyptian economy. Mm. But uh, as you know, that the uh, CDC told that we can explore it and we can uh, consider it uh, as the uh, I think the population uh, is uh, a grant and we can exploit it in pushing our uh, uh, economic uh, progress. This is uh, right. Uh, what are the various steps that has been taken by uh, the government to be able to curb uh, that particular increase of the population by citizens? Are there any um, uh, tri um, trials or steps taken to spread awareness maybe, to be able to set laws, uh, to regulate uh, the whole process in general? Uh, yeah, of course, as you know, that uh, uh, yeah, I mean, there is uh, some uh, uh, solutions for this problem. Uh, as you know, that uh, uh, Egypt is trying just now uh, to make a connection uh, between the, uh, the advantages uh, and the incentives of, uh, uh, presented to the Egyptian families and also with the number uh, of their families. 
this is, uh, I think, uh, 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 important uh, uh, because the, the, the page uh, can't pay uh, 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 social uh, uh, and economic privileges uh, to the people all the time. Uh, so I think uh, they, they launched um, a new program uh, and uh, also uh, a on this program uh, uh, that uh, called uh, 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 to it's enough just now. And this is, of course, important. Uh, as you know, that uh, uh, during the, the, uh, in the 80s and the 90s and so on, uh, there was uh, a tradition among the Egyptian countries uh, that uh, uh, that boys and the girls are uh, the, uh, the wealth. Uh, this is, uh, this is was uh, 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 a tradition. Uh, but now, uh, I think uh, the Egyptian people, that is, the Egyptian families and so on, mm. uh, acknowledge all the, the problems that they uh, especially dealing with the uh, w w w with the number of the uh, of their families, uh, they tend for education, they tend for uh, for uh, health, uh, uh, and so on. But now I think uh, uh, the families accept a new uh, uh, a new thinking, uh, a new thought that uh, they, uh, that uh, the number of the families. Uh, I mean, uh, two is enough, uh, is acceptable just now uh, with the Egyptian family. Uh, this is on one, uh, on one hand. On the other hand, as you know, that, uh, uh, the government and the, the, the budget pay uh, heavily uh, for, the, uh, for uh, the families and for uh, improving their uh, standard of life. As you know, we spent uh, uh, actually or in uh, physical years uh, uh, about uh, uh, 30% uh, uh, from the spending uh, to the social uh, privileges uh, uh, for the Egyptian family. Could you please shed uh, more light over the National Strategy for Population and Development 2015-2030? Uh, which was launched in uh, 2014? Oh, yeah, of course, as you know, that uh, uh, the President uh, of the Cabinet at the same time uh, put some, uh, uh, some plans, uh, one uh, on the short term and the other on uh, a longer term plan. Uh, as you know, that uh, if we didn't, uh, uh, some uh, if we didn't take some procedures uh, uh, concerning the population increase, I think uh, uh, the uh, expected the number of the Egyptian people may be uh, after uh, 10 years uh, will be about uh, 100 million and, uh, and uh, 28 at the same time. Uh, but uh, on the uh, short run, uh, they uh, uh, they uh, took some procedure, uh, another procedures uh, to um, to get percentage, uh, sorry, to get uh, incentives uh, for the Egyptian family uh, to implement a birth control or uh, 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 planning uh, their families uh, because. Uh, the, the, as we mentioned, the Egyptian uh, uh, government they is more uh, for uh, for their health, uh, for uh, social benefits, uh, for uh, transportation, for uh, uh, health, education, uh, uh, and so on. And at the same time, if you notice that uh, some. Um, uh, uh, some experts and also uh, uh, people uh, they suffer uh, 
from uh, uh, from uh, the public spending. Mm. But uh, uh, how can we suffer from public spending, for example, in the, uh, uh, from the Egyptian uh, government, and at the same time, uh, they uh, 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 some people uh, is still insisting on uh, 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 on. Uh, not connecting it to the uh, family planning or uh, birth control and mm. so on. Mm. Mr. Abdul Latif Wahba, you are an economic analyst. would like to thank you so much for talking to The Breakfast Show this morning, and you have a beautiful day. And I guess uh, with this final item, we come to the end of The Breakfast Show for today. Until we see you once again tomorrow morning with another new edition of The Breakfast Show, you have a beautiful day. Stay safe.